the last few weeks of winter weather really helping Utah bounce back. It's snow packed to encouraging levels, but it's enough to start reversing the drought. That's what we wanted to find out from the experts. Fox 13's Emily Tenser talked with some of these experts to get the answers. The new year is off to a hopeful start with the state snowpack almost entirely above average. We've had an exceptional three week period with statewide heavy snow and now we're currently sitting 128% of normal snowpack for this date. The Weber Ogden area is barely there, sitting just at 99%. Beaver and southwestern Utah are doing fantastic, both above 180%. Typically on a normal year, uh, averaged over the last 30 years, we don't reach these levels until mid to late January. Last year, we didn't reach these levels until mid-February. Glenn Merrill is a hydrologist with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City. He says if Utah wants to overcome this drought, the state needs more storms. 95% of the water supply comes from snowmelt runoff. If we look back to December 9th, so just a little over three weeks ago, we were at an all-time minimum for statewide average snowpack over the last 40 years. Reservoir levels are lower than they'd like to be right now, and it may be too soon right now to know how well all the snow will melt back into the water. Getting out of the drought doesn't happen quickly or from one big exceptional storm cycle like we've been through. Merrill says it'll take a few years of above average snowpack and significant snowmelt runoff to rebound against the drought. But right now, Utah is better now than where it was last year. We went into the into the fall with much higher soil moistures um, this year. Last year we were at an all time low. So that's a factor that looks good. This current state of the snowpack looks good, but it's a evolution that needs to continue to happen over time to really see the effects of it. Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.